Yeah, we're back in that same neighborhood here, the McDonough, McDonoughville neighborhood in Gretna, and that tornado actually hit Harvey, Morero, and Gretna with a vengeance. And local leaders told us today that digging out from this storm will certainly test the resilience of the West Bank community. From the air, you can spot the tornado's path of destruction on the West Bank of Jefferson Parish. It dropped down on some buildings and spared others. The twister tore part of the roof off the Infant Jesus Catholic Church on Maple Avenue in Harvey. The church's stained glass windows and sacred mural over the altar somehow survived the impact. Don Kasky is a parishioner there. They weren't hurt at all. And it's right, one of them's right underneath where the, the roof came off, so praise the Lord there. The tornado seriously damaged the JPSO Training Academy and firing range. It also hit West Jefferson High School, where debris covered the campus and crews worked to cover a hole in the roof. The tornado also dealt a major blow to MacArthur Avenue. It damaged homes, knocked down power lines and trees, and scattered debris across the neighborhood. It was just raining a little bit, and then it, uh, it sounded really loud, like a train was coming through. Everything, literally everything. Graham Ball was inside his home when the twister took his roof in a matter of seconds. Just a little pressure, just a little pressure. We were underneath the, the attic vent for the fan, it turned sideways, and literally the, saw the roof just go, it was, it was over with. Getting windows busted out here. The tornado also rocked Ray Fitch's home. I can just hear stuff hitting the house, just really, really loud. It felt like the house shook a little bit. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. We was working on this house, man. The twister dropped down on Romaine Street in Gretna's McDonoughville neighborhood. This is what's left of Oliver Young's home. I had just went through it with uh, Ida. This side of the house was messed up. Got that fixed. Now with this tornado, is this side of the house messed up. Young says he doesn't know how you recover from something like this. Other families in the tornado-stricken areas are asking the same question. Got to start from the root all over again, man. I don't know why, but you know it's the Lord's will, but we're going to get through it some way, somehow. And Gretna officials say the tornado damaged more than 100 structures in the city so far. 30 have been determined to be damaged so severely, they're now on a list to be demolished. We're live in Gretna, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Just awful. Thank you so much, Paul.